Hi there, I'm Birgit O'Connor and welcome to my studio. It's fall, so it's the perfect time to paint pumpkins and gourds. Now, what's wonderful about this particular course is that the shapes are very simple and we really get to work with technique, retaining highlights, the wet into wet application, building color up, and trying to get some of those little gnarly bumps and warts on the pumpkins or gourds, whatever you want to put them on. And how the course starts is that I keep it as simple as possible, just moving water and color around first, and then breaking it down into a simple gourd and how to control the feathering edges, and then getting a little detail in that subject matter, and then we go into a more elaborate painting. Now, with that elaborate painting, you can keep it very simple, or you can go deeper into it and really get more shape and shadow if you like. But that's really up to you. And then we go into the gourd painting where it has a, a lot of orange color, a lot of fun, and we get to really work with those shadows. So I hope you join me and let's have some fun. And then let's come down to this one. This is going to have our little nubs on it, our little bumps. So using our water, let's go ahead and fill this area in and I penciled in a few little bumps here so I'm going to just find some space in between it's wet just like this and we're just putting color in then using a number 14 put some of that color in there we can even put I could even just drop it in like that and then let's drop in water. Or it can build down a bit more and then we can drop in the water. You can see that it's creating some natural blooms here and there and we want to take advantage of that. Let's see what happens. This is the top. This is coming down. We're not trying to make this look perfect or anything. We're just getting the idea. These circles are going to be our nubs. Then using a number 20 blend brush. I'll soften just a few of these little edges. We're doing negative painting around these little nubs. And over here. Let's just, just go around a few of them. I like this. I don't really want to get rid of that. So I might, even if you need to do something like this to make it up, if that helps you, you can do that. Okay. I could keep on going, but then again, it's just getting the idea. Let's just throw some greens in here, just for fun. Now we could continue to elaborate on that, but that's really what we're trying to achieve. Soften a few of those. You just touch it. Now we have our bumpy cord. <laughs> 